Welcome to Spit Bucket. This week we have something special for you, all the way from America, Rick Backus. Welcome to Spit Bucket. Cheers, good to be here. <laughs> the third try. <laughs> um, okay, now, first of all, you started out as a, as a tech geek. Is that the correct, uh, that's not offensive? Uh, no, that's good. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. And you also uh, had a fascination with wine. Yeah. You put them together. Can you tell us how that all, all came together? Yeah, and just to qualify, we've been tasting wine before this interview, so you never know where it's going to go. Some, some spitting. Technological, well here we are, tech, geekery, and wine. But uh, I worked at Nike, the big shoe company, for a number of years, and you get a lot of free shit when you work at Nike. Shoes, jackets. So I was trading it with winemakers in Oregon and California. And over time I was building up the cellar, because I liked wine, but I didn't know anything about it. So I would start reading magazines, and. I would look at the wine review and look at all the notes and then I would taste the wine if I had it and I would try and match it up and say, okay, if they're talking about cedar, do I taste that? And just over time I did a lot of that and just evolved to the point where I am now. Okay, now you're out here to give uh, some, a series of lectures. Yeah. And that's on the more geek side of things. Uh, I mean that in the nicest possible way, of course. Sure. Um, can you give us the background? I mean, what what is your advice for the... Uh, the young wine obsessed uh, or the young wineries? Well, I mean, let's take a look at them. I mean, wine and food is probably the most inherently social interaction that there is. Going back to you know, the Roman days, whenever there was some major event that would happen or a celebration or a birthday, I mean, hell, when the, the royal wedding happens next month, what are they going to be doing? They're going to be eating and drinking. It's the, it's, when it comes to socializing, food and wine is the centerpiece so when all these things came together and new media and social media really started coming up I started doing what was natural which was just educating people and talking with people online and that led to being coming here well actually I'm take a step back I worked at a winery in Napa Valley and had a job doing this stuff and I tried a lot of stuff and learned some things have some case studies so I'm going to share all that with everybody here in Australia in the wine industry okay. and I mean this is for you this is obviously the way forward for, for wineries to promote themselves um, and for people to also to learn and, um, and pass around information. You were showing me your list of, of Twitters this morning, yeah. which of course was a foreign language to me, but um, we'll get there, we'll get there eventually. Well, I mean, hey, look, let's look at this moment in history where we are, we have the front row seat for the largest shift in communication in probably the entire history of humanity. It's happening right now. We're going from an analog world to a digital world, and this is the pivot point in history. We're now going forward when you see movies like Star Wars and remember that scene where uh, Anakin Skywalker was a teenager and he was chasing a bad guy through a city and it's all futuristic, looked like Blade Runner? Yep, yep, yep. It could get to look like that. And this is the moment in history where we shift, change courses as humans and civilization and become technological, not just with wine, but you know, in the States we can take a picture of a check and deposit it smart appliances you know you will have refrigerators and ovens and washers and dryers that can send you a message and say hey would you like me to turn on right now I mean the whole world is changing technologically and this fits into all of the shift well someone did a, a look at Star, um, Star Trek at one stage and worked out all of the things that they were fiddling around with way back whenever that are now reality and it's quite extraordinary the number of things that they've actually they predicted in that sense so yeah who knows I mean yeah Anakin Skywalker was zipping past your window yep yeah, so it's pretty amazing just to wrap your head around it and it's happening so fast, that's why people are a little shell-shocked because this, this ability to communicate in a different way, it just kind of happened, and whether we're ready or not. Well, where do you think we'll be in 10, 20 years? Mobile is going to be huge. Anything and everything that we do, information, uh, all of our interactions are going to happen on a mobile device. So buying decisions, especially for wine and food, people are going to make a decision based on what they can access on their phone at the location that they're at. Because uh, wine, uh, certainly in Australia, is one of those things that really hasn't taken off online yet as, in, as far as purchasing. But clearly that's that's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, very much. So that's why I'm, I really want to get that, a point, that point across to folks here. To be ready for that, when it does happen, you'll have already laid the groundwork online and to realize the importance of it. So. Just to give you an example, if there was a video of the winemaker and he was in the vineyard while this was being harvested, he could actually take a YouTube video and put it up online. So for the next several years, anyone who's in a restaurant could search this wine. They might actually see his video pop up and tell you about the very wine you're about to order. So 
they can tell you about what to expect, harvest conditions, acidity, whatever. They'll give you all this information and it's gonna happen on your mobile device. So wineless will become mobile devices? They could, yeah. And photo recognition is already here, but you'll see the ability to, for example, take a photo of a bottle of wine and get all this information back. So the user does a little bit, they get recipes, they get videos, they get blog posts, and they can decide what they want to do with that information. It's exciting. It is. It is. And it's been exciting to have you on board. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on Spit Bucket. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Any questions out there about the, the wonderful, bright new future, please pass them on. And remember, we spit so you don't have to. Cheers. Cheers.